And here we find Canadian zombies. Hey! Hey! What's up everyone? Graver here, and it's been a few days since I got home from End War. I uh, got time to recuperate and relax. Alright, that's a lie. I had like one day off and then it was back to work. But anyway, uh, the trip in and of itself was amazing. Uh, getting to see everyone who I only get to see once a year or so was really, really great. Like uh, Jeff and the rest of the A team, uh, Clowny, Jade from Fomdemic, the gang from the NYCNO, and everyone else. Um, also, getting to meet a bunch of new people from the hobby was, and even some fans uh, at FoamCon was really awesome. Um, Boomstick Mods, Rextech, Gargunkle, Al the Geek, Bubba Lolo, so many more. Uh, and getting just to pal around with Papatachi all weekend was amazing. It was such a great blast. It was such a great time. I had such a blast. It was great. Um, so before I go on for too long, uh, let's just get to what I actually was able to record, and then I will get back to you with my final thoughts on what I thought of the weekend. Okay, so it's about 9.30 or so. I'm getting ready to get on the road for End War. I am not going to do the time-lapse driving thing because I have no camera set up for that, and... I don't do that very well so but yeah I got everything packed I had a checklist I made sure I had everything and I remembered the GoPro this year so we'll see if we get some uh, footage from that but yep uh, it's gonna be about a five and a half six hour drive up and we will pick this up either at the hotel or maybe just at FoamCon getting everything started so either way see you in a bit so here we have the booths from FoamCon that I was able to get before everything opened up. Uh, the Corbett Memorial Fundraiser. We have Clowny setting up, who will also be housing, housing Rex Tech, and Builder BB. Uh, my table. Thank you for everyone coming to check it out. Uh, we have Detroit Dart Talk along with the numerous Maryland nerfing organizations here. They had a few tables. Lots of stuff for sale. It was really cool. Uh, we also had Game Face, the Dart of War, showcasing their Chevron darts and the Tryon. Then we had Kana and definitely Nat Tox. Uh, I think Bobo's table might have been around here too. Uh, we also have Blaster Barn, which is a great way to resell your blasters you don't want anymore. Uh, this table was set up for Drac and also for the End War testing as well. We have the Rochester Foam Dart League, and I was being informed that they were actually setting up a little play area for us to use while, I guess, waiting around for stuff, which was cool. And here we have Silver Fox Industries, which I may or may not have finally gotten one of the takedowns that has the lever action kit. Okay, I did. Uh, we also have Roboman Automation, who does amazing work. Unfortunately, I did not get a chance to get back over here to see his stuff, but yeah, lots of great stuff. And then here we had a photo booth set up for all the tournament players and Dart Zone itself showcasing a lot of the new stuff. Unfortunately, I did not get a chance to get over and see it, which made me very sad. Uh, and here we have our friendly Canadians. We have Cake Creations. And then Turf, I think, I think this was, yeah, this was Turf Spring. And then Decepticreeps with some really, really cool custom stuff. Seven hours later. Okay, so we're going to try this again. <laughs> so we're coming to the end of FoamCon. Uh, 
everything's starting to die down now uh, as the vendors are going to get a chance to clean everything up and then get to croning our blasters to make sure that they are all uh, compliant with the RIT rules of a 130 FPS cap. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a interesting experience. Uh, met a lot of people. Got to say hi to a bunch of old friends. Uh, hopefully spread the word of the channel. So if you're new and watching this, welcome. Uh, but yeah, it's been, it was really fun. For my first con as a vendor, I guess you could say, it was quite interesting. Say hi, Vivi. Hey, how are you? So hopefully I will get more footage of End War itself, um, more so than I did of Foam Con, which was at least a once around of everything. So, yeah, here's hoping for more footage of that. Four hours later. What's so, up, YouTube? So, I'm here with Papa Tachi here, the, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> and we finished mission one or mission zero. Yep. And as you can tell by that, he's a zombie. So am I. So. Zombros. Yep, Zombros. <laughs> so, I'm going to reserve what I thought of the mission for afterwards because, you know, maybe cooler heads will prevail on it. Or maybe, not. maybe or not, but uh, we have like a half hour before mission two starts, so we find out yeah. how many Actually. are legit, how many legit zombies there are, and how many there are not. But so far, still fun, still interesting. See how it goes. See how many tags we can get. Yep. But on the plus side now. Since I don't have to worry about completing missions, I'll be able to film tomorrow. So, look for some actual war footage. So, we'll catch up with you later. Peace. Day two. are participating in the bucket brigade. They need to move all of the water from one of the pools to the other pool using the buckets scattered around. One bucket per person at a time. Hopefully the locals will not come by and eviscerate them. Uh-oh, four, five, six, seven, 
to explain what the hell's going on. <laughs> About what? What this objective is supposed to be. This is the invisible maze objective. Is what? <laughs> this is the invisible maze objective. Okay. So. Players that complete the invisible maze, mm -hmm. via my instructions, will get a stamp. There are six mini games for mission three, which is all explained in the mission video. Okay, so I am sitting here editing up the End War video, and I needed to put a little bit of an exclamation slash integer here, uh, because when I ended this part of the video, I then explained to Ray the Mod that I was trying to get as many of the objectives explained by, you know, the mods who were in charge of it for the video, so it would be able to be explained and I then just got told all the mission briefings were on the Facebook page and I explained to him I got here late I was not you know fully made aware of what exactly was being done and that's why I was also trying to do this and then I was met with all the objectives are on the Facebook page so yeah Olivia was a wonderful wonderful mod Ray, not so much. Maybe it was stress. Maybe it was the heat. I don't know. I don't know him personally, so I can't say. But, yeah, this may pop up a couple more times in the video.
They're similar to the Dart Zone Pro Bamboo 2.0s. Um, the bamboos are lighter, mostly it seems, from the foam. So the foam is very delicate, actually. We're kind of using the same foam, uh, so it's pretty resilient. We're lighter by basically changing the compound of the head. Um, so these are 0.75 gram darts. They're um, any platform you shoot them out of, you should get a greater muzzle velocity. They may not do as well in the wind, but they'll take a much straighter path to the target with less drop due to gravity. They have a really far forward center of gravity. Uh, the glue is kind of more like rubber cement, so see there's where the CG is, where it balances. Uh, the glue is kind of like rubber cement, so the heads stay on pretty well. They survive a lot of impacts. We're getting feedback here at End War that uh, they're really resilient. Um, but they're meeting all of the normal uh, competition standards. The head's very squishy. We have a chevron in the head, so we're kind of calling these chevron darts. They're in our new colors. They're blue. There isn't a lot of blue in nature except for the sky, so they kind of stand out in the grass, and they're easy to watch them track to target. And uh, they're our first dart, our first of many. Uh, we're probably going to eventually have multiple darts for different applications, but this is our first. Uh, they go on sale, I believe, at the end of September, and I think... I think it's $11.99 for a container, $12.99. Don't quote me on that, I'm, I'm not a marketing guy. <laughs> but uh, that's the Chevron Darks. Man, last did how many rounds? Yeah, I, made it, I died in mission four, 30 minutes from the end, hiding in a corner with one other human trying to survive. About 12 zombies, we were able to like hide from them. One old friend turned zombie, passed by, spotted us, rallied the whole horde around us. We went down fighting. And, and you've done down. most of this with a, what, Spring Thunder, right? Spring Thunder, that's correct. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, at BubblesBargainBasement.com. Where you, the only retailer of Drax official, unofficial merch. <laughs> and currently, featuring the Ara Ara, my ass is blasted. Get yours today. Lord Dirk. There's a Lord Dirk shirt. There's a Lord Dirk shirt as well. There is a Lord Dirk. I made that one myself. This is Pat. I I know this is Pat. I would recognize Pat. You were there when I got it from him. Aura, aura. My ass is blasted. This is how we get your name out there, Drax, so you can get millions of YouTube followers. This is turning out to be... better than me. Even I got into no. this so far. I can give you commentary. Okay. okay. I wish I had one of those pens that could draw on like the video <laughs> you're doing. 
There's the humans are coming on the back line. And we got all the zombies pushing over here. We got all the zombies pushing this way. Put an arrow point down to the objective. And what the zombies are going to do is they're going to come around and they're going to pinch them on the side while the humans are going away from the objective while they do a U-turn to come around and come from the back side. Brilliant plan for both sides. Let's we'll see how this turns out. I got all that on the go. <laughs> Oh, thank God, my camera. Thank God, my microphone was on. I just realized I was recording Griever, who was recording me. <laughs> I need you to, like, put some Inception. X's and marks and big scribbles over. <laughs> Filmception. <laughs> Filmception. For mission three, which is all explained in the mission video. What, so, what are your thoughts of the event so far? No, I mean, honestly, it's been fun. More, more communication, more communication, but I think that just really solves all the problems. Like, any of the different problems people have been having, just more communication solves really all of it, so. Yeah. Other, but it's been a great weekend. It's been a great weekend. Happy to see everybody. And yeah, it's HBC, man. We're all going to win in the end of Zombies. That's what it's about. That is what is it's about, so. Yeehaw. Yeah, basically, what he said. <laughs> They hit you with the pool noodle, it is a full stunt, like you were shot with a dart. Understood, everyone? Aye, aye. Yes. Thank you. Do you all understand your new respawn timers as well? Yes, sir. Yes. What is it? Ten minutes. Thank you. Now, what happens when you get hit with a pool noodle? You're stunned. Thank you. That is all from Corporate. Hope you guys have an amazing job on your duty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I did not see him coming. This is my first uh, actual participation in End War. I did the last one at PhoneCon, and you know what? I'm having a lot of fun, but part of it's because I don't know what I'm doing, so you know what? I am good with that. <laughs> if anything, it's always fun to see people, meet people. Everyone's very friendly, and um, it's nice to talk to people. Never mind make establishments. Oh, and then you get to do Nerf stuff. <laughs> Did I forget that? Is, is that important? Maybe just a little bit. Just, just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Go! Go! We just go! 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 Go!
for mission three, which is all explained in the mission video. Well, I hope you enjoyed all the footage that I got. And again, a real quick thank you to Christopher from Game Face for the rundown of the new Chevron darts. Uh, thank you again for, you know, just taking that time. Uh, so my final thoughts on the event and the weekend in and of itself. Um, overall, I had a blast. Uh, FoamCon was definitely fun. I've been to cons before. I've just never been as a vendor. Um, it was awesome getting to meet everybody and... It was a good learning experience as well, because if I ever do FoamCon again, um, I kind of now know what works and what doesn't. Um, in regards to the stuff that I had on my table for sale, it wasn't really moving, but then again, it was also a lot of rival stuff. Um, so that's definitely on me. But it was also nice to have everyone like come up and ask like some questions about like, you know, my techniques and, you know, be able to explain how I did it or what I did and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, definitely know what to do next time for that. And hopefully there is next time. But, um, as for end war itself, that was interesting. Uh, coming from playing an NIC style type of game for almost my entire time in the hobby, uh, HVZ is such a different play style. Um, there were five missions in total, uh, two right after FoamCon and then three the next day. Uh, me and Pop, as you saw earlier, were tagged out by the end of mission one. We played mission two as zombies and I mean, I still had fun as a zombie. It wasn't, you know, anything like that of why I kind of decided not to play on day two. That was more because of poor equipment choices on my end, in which normally when I do like things like APOC or Cataclysm or something like that, it's usually out in a field or in a park or whatever, and I usually wear boots for that because it's a lot of running around on you know grass and terrain and stuff like that, whereas most of the running around here was on sidewalks and concrete, so I had some gnarly blisters from my boots after that. Um, but it worked out because I had all that great footage from Saturday and, you know, that was awesome. Now, in regards to the missions themselves, there were some disagreements on how some things played out, like mission one and two, and also the end game. Um, as far as mission one went, um, the group we were running with, Taco Hell, kind of got to the final objective late. But from the way it played out to me, and if I misremembered it, then I apologize. But the way it kind of got to me was we made it to the final objective. And then we were told to hold. And then we all kind of gathered into the quad there. But when that was all said and done, we were then basically told, okay, game on. And we were already surrounded by zombies. Um... I got separated from Pop and the rest of the group. I was actually back-to-back -back with Rextech for a little bit. Uh, he did try and save me. Thank you, Rextech, for doing that. But unfortunately, it was a noodle zombie, and he had just enough reach to get me right as Rextech got him. So that was how I turned into a zombie. Uh, mission 2 was wrought with a bunch of safety stoppages. Um, one, because people were calling hold instead of wait which hold means stop game, wait just means stop moving team. So there was that issue. Uh, there were a bunch of injuries also in the night game. Um, as uh, Yeah, I don't want to get into it because I don't want to know, I don't know if whoever was injured really wants that information out. But um, let's just say I know, I know somebody and I saw somebody get hurt pretty bad. So there's that, unfortunately. Um, there were also a couple of kids who got lost, which that is definitely not cool. But thankfully, they weren't mine. I mean, I felt terrible about it, but I'm glad they were all found. So that was all said and done. Um, missions three and four, I think, went off pretty well or without major incident. And then we got to the final mission where... Apparently, or at least it seemed to me, that the zombie horde was way bigger than what anyone had anticipated and tried splitting them up and all that. 
And it seemed to work for a while, but somehow some of the humans caught wind of where the final objective was and basically sat it. And from my understanding, basically auto won it for the human team. And that, I don't know, to me that was just a bit of a confusing mess. Overall, that mission was a confusing mess. Um, however, I still had an amazing time, and this is by far one of the most fun events I've had in my entire time in the hobby. Um, getting to hang with friends like Papatachi, Jeff, Colin, uh, Adrian, um, meeting Al the Geek and then palling around with him also this weekend, like we were old friends, was amazing. Saturday night dinner, I am I had promised steak and beers, but the place I chose didn't have steaks, but they had steak burgers. So technically, I still provided steak, I just didn't say what form it was. But that dinner was amazing. Um, definitely one of my favorite parts of the weekend. Um, but yeah, so... And that's going to be it for this video. So, as always, if you enjoyed the content we put here on the channel, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you happen to have been at Endwar or FoamCon. Uh, what did you think of the event? And also, if I did not mention you in the video and I did meet you this weekend, I do apologize. I did run into a lot of people. Um, but regardless, it was amazing getting to meet everybody. Um, and, ooh! Don't forget to click that little bell icon, otherwise you may not know when me and Arlene are doing their silliness here on the channel. And again, thank you all very much for joining me, and I will see you next time. Later!